I've got some more sullies for you today. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Tuesday, I hope you're all having a great start to your week so far. I am here with more of my Sully collection. It has been three months since I showed you some of my Sully collection and I have accumulated so much stuff. So if you're not familiar with my Sully collection, I will leave a card up above to the playlist. The last video I did in my Sully collection was at Christmas to show you my Christmas ornaments and I did want to do a plush collection in early January but then obviously in January I had all of the Christmas content like what I got for Christmas taking down my Christmas things and then I got some Christmas plushes as well and then I didn't really have time in February what with needing to review the Valentine's plushes and also doing a wish list video and I did a Squishmallow collection video in honour of my dog passing away. So I didn't really want to push that into March, so I pushed the Sully collection into March instead because it did give me time to accumulate a few more Sullies and I'm just gonna share them all with you today. So this is just going to be plush Sullies. I do still have a lot of figures to show you. I have mugs to show you, but I accumulated quite a lot of plushes. So I thought I would show them to you today and then we're gonna reorganize that mess over there. I do have a plan to reorganize it better, but for now I will just find homes for the new ones in this video and then in a future video I will show you how I'm going to change it a little bit. So the first one I'm going to start with has replaced a Sully, so I'm going to start the counter from exactly where it was last time because one has gone, so I'm not adding with this one, I am replacing. I said in my Disney Squishmallow collection video, which if you didn't see that, I will leave a card up above, that I had two identical Sullies basically and I needed to get rid of one. So I bought the new 10 inch Sully with the little three-ish inch boo and I already had a 10 inch Sully. So my friend Rachel Dawn now has that 10 inch Sully. So this one just replaces the one that I previously had in my collection. And obviously this little boo goes really well in my boo collection, but I haven't really got any more boos recently. There are a lot of Monsters Inc. Funko Pops I'm after as well, so you might be seeing a new Sully Funko Pop collection video at some point, but this is my latest Squishmallow. I got it from a girl on Facebook who did a pickup for me. She has since picked up Moana for me as well, so I'm going to have to update my Disney Squishmallow collection soon as well, but I just absolutely love this one and he replaces one because it just felt a bit silly to have two that were identical even though I have the little five inch. So now the counter is going to grow because these ones are all adding to the collection. The first one has been creeping me out, I'm not gonna lie. So this is a room guard. I got it from my friend Lucy's room toys. Whenever she's parting with her Sully, she always lets me know and gives me first dibs, which I really appreciate. So this is a room guard. I'm not sure I had this one. I know I had Flick from A Bug's Life. I don't think he works anymore, but I'm gonna see whether I could put new batteries in him and get him working. Although I'd probably keep him switched off because he's gonna be like right by my bed. So I don't wanna like wake up in the middle of the night because he's gone like that at me because that's a bit creepy. <laughs> <laughs> but he's absolutely adorable and he's probably going to go where the bigger ones are because he's got a stand. And then the next one talks. I think I've said before that I don't like talking plushes, but someone on Instagram asked me if I needed this one and I don't have him. So yes, I do need him, but he literally talked in the box he was sent in. The Hermes man dropped him off and he said to my dad, I don't know what's in there, but it won't shut up. And it hasn't shut up since really. Like every time I move him, I put him on the bed for this video and he started talking. And what he does is if you set him off, he will talk again a few minutes later, just of his own volition and it's really creepy. So this is the Sully I got. If you squeeze his belly, he talks. Well, 
he screams. But he also talks when you move him as well, so if I try and slap him down on my knee. The star player has just arrived. So that's what he kept doing in the van. And then a few minutes later, he says something like, are you still there? Are you there? And it's really, really creepy when you're just trying to like get on with your day and it starts talking to you. It's probably gonna hey, do buddy. it. Hey yeah. it, it hasn't done that one before. That, that, that was creepy, but like normally it's, are you there? Are you there? And I'm like, I'm here, don't kill me. But he's a great addition to my collection. I might actually see if I can switch him off. Can I? The star player has just arrived. A few moments later. Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. James P. Sullivan. You can call me Sully. Okay, so he doesn't appear to have an off switch, so that's going to be fun when I show you me reorganising that later. Obviously it will be sped up so you won't hear him speak, but he will be speaking and it will creep me out when he speaks again a few minutes later. There? That! Did I scare you away? That! That's what he does! And it, it's so scary! <laughs> yes, you did scare me away, darling. But yeah, this is going to be fun to find a home for and not set off again. And then the next one, I think, was from Lucy, but I could be wrong. And it's a very, very fluffy Sully. This is the Sully from my thumbnail. I'm not actually sure where he's from. Oh, I didn't know that. So this is actually a stamped Disney Store plush, and I don't remember ever having this because I kept all of my Monsters, Inc. plushes. They are all there, all the original ones that I had. So. I have no idea how I missed this one. He's so fluffy. He's definitely one of my favourites because of how fluffy he is. And I just love getting stamped Disney plushes. Why did they ever stop stamping them? It's like the nicest touch. If you watch my videos, Bob Paycheck, bring back the stamped plushes and I will dislike you less. And then this next one, I think again this was from Lucy because I got them all as like a bundle when she was selling some. This is like businessman Sully. I think it's for the end of the film when he is the CEO because he's just got a tie and nothing else is different but I just absolutely love him he's one of my favorites I've actually got a fun Instagram post planned where he's like my social media manager and I'm really excited to share that with you guys so make sure you're following me on Instagram at Lizzie and Disney I like to do Sully Sunday posts but this is my businessman Sully I just absolutely love him and this one is apparently by Nico Toy from Belgium so I'm not sure whether he was even available in the UK but I just absolutely adore him this one might have been from Lucy as well and while it's very similar to one I have from the Disney store, it's from Disneyland Paris. So this is the Disneyland Paris Sully. He is heavier and I would say fluffier than the Disney store plush that they released in 2001, which is one I've had since I was a child. I just had to get it because he's slightly different and I really, really love him. And she threw in the little mic as well. I could do a mic collection if you want to see it, but it's probably only gonna be like four things. But if you would like to see that, let me know down in the comments and I will for sure do that video for you. But this is my Disneyland Paris Soleil. And then this one is still in the bag. I got it from Bello Shop HK when I was getting Emily and Becca's Kermit Nuimos. So I was doing some Christmas shopping. I got Lucy from Lucy's Room Toys, a woody shoulder plush. And I got Emily at Wannabe Mount Skatia and Becca at Happily Becca After, a Kermit New Emo. But Royal Mail lost Becca's Kermit New Emo, so I had to get her another one from Shop Disney UK. So she does finally have her Kermit New Emo. So that whole Bello Shop HK order was basically just for friends' Christmas presents. But Bello Shop HK did actually message me and say, we've got a Sully for you, so they sent me this Sully. He's from Hong Kong Disneyland. I think this is the same sculpt of Sully as a little keyring I've shown you before, but I just absolutely love him. He's got quite a floppy head and he's got like 
floppy tail and arms and feet and I just absolutely adore him and I'm so grateful to them for adding him to my box and yeah I just absolutely adore him and then the second to last thing was a Christmas present so if you didn't see what I got for Christmas I will leave a card up above to that video but spoiler alert this is from Joe and Andy at Park Pioneer they got me the Monsters Inc 20th anniversary VHS plush and if you open it up, there's a little Sully! So I don't know how I'm going to display this, but I just absolutely love this Sully plush. He's got a really long tag. I'm fed up of moaning about tags now, to be honest. But he was from the Disney store, though they did get him from Shop Disney US because he wasn't available on the UK site. So the day he became available on the UK site, Joe messaged me and was like, please don't buy that, you've got that. So here's the little plush, he's absolutely adorable. I didn't get the pin because I wasn't sure where I'd put it, that pin flag's very full but I might have to just get a big out pin board for my silly pins to be honest but I just absolutely love him and I love that he's displayed in this box because it just reminds me of VHS and it's just so incredibly detailed and I adore it and then the final thing I wanted to show you was a Real Littles backpack that has recently been released in the UK via Smiths it is the Sully backpack from their Disney range. It's the perfect size for Nuimos, but I also think it's a very good size for my businessman Sully as well. So it's got real working zips on the backpack and inside it's actually got some little pops. So I did unbox this on my Instagram, so I'm sorry if you've seen it before. It's got a little Mike and Sully like file organizer. It's got some stickers. It's got a little like zippable pouch, which I love a little Mike and Sully pencil case with a blue ruler protractor and whatever the triangular one's called. I haven't done maths since secondary school. It's got a blue clip, little mechanical pencils and a Monsters Inc. keyring and I just absolutely love it. It was £10 which for everything you get I don't think is bad and pretty much everything can be used with my new emo so I thought it was well worth it to be honest. And then you just zip the bag back up and it's just absolutely adorable and I love it. So that was my little Sully plush haul for this Sully collection. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning, all I need to do now is find a home for all of it over there. So let's do that. And that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and comment down below what was your favorite plush I showed in this video. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you on Friday for a new video. Bye friends.